Number 31, letter A. The lead in pencils is a graphite composition with a Young's modulus of about 1 times 10 to the 9 newton, uh, newtons per meter squared. Calculate the change in length of the lead in an automatic pencil if you tap it straight into the pencil with a force of 4 newtons. The lead is 0.5 millimeters in diameter and 60 meters, uh, excuse me, 60 millimeters long. Okay, so uh, what formula are we going to use? I mean, we're talking about changes in length. They're talking about Young's modulus. So we're going to use this formula right here on the right-hand side, right? The Young's modulus. This says that the force applied in either tension or compression will be equal to the Young's modulus in that tension or compression multiplied by the change in length of the object divided by the initial length of that object multiplied by the uh, cross-sectional area of that object. So the force they told us was going to be 4 newtons. Easy. Young's modulus, they said, was 1 times 10 to the 9. The change in length is what we're after, right? The initial length, they told us, is going to be 60 millimeters long, but I have to convert that to meters. There's a simple trick. Just move the decimal three places to the left, all right? So it's going to be 0 0.060. Great. And then the cross-sectional area, they did tell us that the lead is 0.5 millimeters in diameter. We have to remember that, I mean, lead pencils, they're generally circular, right, the cross section. So they told us the diameter is going to be 0.5 millimeters. So this was 0.5, and therefore the radius should then be what? 0.25, right? So that'll be 0.25 millimeters. So the radius is equal to 0 0.25 millimeters. Move the decimal now three places to the left. And now, in terms of meters, it becomes 0 0.00025, right, meters, okay? If you have trouble with that, just divide this value by 1,000, you'll get the same result, okay? So here's the radius, right? Now, how do I calculate the cross-section area, or how is radius related to area of a circle? Well, simple, right? Pi r squared. So let me write it over here. The area, right, is equal to pi r squared. So the area will be equal to pi times 0. 0, 0, 0, 0.00025 squared. So just simply calculate that area. So it's going to be pi times 0. 0.00025 and square it. So we have 1.96. So 1.96 times times 10 raised to the negative 7. And that's meters squared. All right, so this is the area, cross-sectional area. So just plug it in. 1.96 times 10 to the minus 7. And let's clean it up. So 4.0. Let's do 1 times 10 to the 9 times 1.9, 1 1.96 times 10 to the minus 7. Divide that all by 0 0.06. And we get a value of 3,270, 3, right? We're just rounding a little bit. So then divide that now by th both sides by 3,270. So the change in length of the pencil will be 4 divided by 3,270. Uh, 3, so it comes out to be 1.22 1 right? 1 times 10 to the minus 3 uh, meters. Okay? And this would then be, um, in terms of millimeters, right? This would be 1.22 millimeters. Um, sounds quite large, right, to compress in terms of the uh, pencil length, um, most likely it's just going to break. All right. So that's that. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.